Hi, my name's Oren Finnegan and this is Finnegan Runs. So today I am going to be undertaking a review of the Brooks GTS Adrenaline 21. This is a shoe I know very well. Um, I've gone through the 19, the 20 and now the 21 and it has been a tough task to drag myself away in any form uh, from the shoe itself. I found them incredibly reliable and I'll, I'll get to that during the, uh, the review. So just uh, to start with a bit of the design and key stats, um, I'll, I'll also put them up in, in this video so you can see them um, as well. But in, in, in short, what you have here is a sturdy, reliable shoe. You have um, Brooks's um, DNA Loft uh, foam. Uh, which I think is is improving and they put more of it in the 21 than was in the 20 and you feel that um, difference uh, that's for sure it's got a significant enough uh, heel to toe drop um, 12 12 millimeters um, didn't wasn't an issue for me um, but it's it's an important thing to note uh, in, in terms of comparing it with other with other shoes weight um it's not the lightest shoe in the world um but i didn't uh didn't feel that didn't feel that running but just a, it's um 261 grams and 9.2 ounces and that's for a, a european um 40 uh 41 sorry and a us uh, size 8. um so yeah i i think it's true to size um this is my regular uh sort of fit um it's not any different really uh from the 20. there's some differences um in the 20 um they brought in these guide rails as this is a stability shoe and that has been an interesting um addition and i think it's worked i think it was a good move it was a bold move uh, by brooks at the time but one i think that definitely uh works um and you don't feel that um when you're out running um, it's not uh, sort of impacting you in any any way. So overall, um, the knit itself is um, uh, is good. Um, very much snugs your uh, snugs closely to your your foot. Um, so there's no moving around. It's really a solid um, shoe in in that respect. So. When it comes to getting this out on the road, uh, how did it feel for me um, on a day to day? So I think it's first important to point that this is really not a tempo shoe. If you're looking to be hitting personal bests, I wouldn't uh, go out there and get yourself a pair of these. However, if you're looking for a shoe that's going to get you through your day to day runs, you know, really, you know, clocking in in the miles then uh, I really strongly um, um, advocate for, for, the, for the Brooks 21. Um, this is a shoe I did, had done most of my marathon training in. Um, I usually run in a principle of three shoes, um, one for my easy and long runs, one for the tempo runs, and then obviously a race day shoe. Um, what I like about this is that it is still very much gearing towards a traditional uh, shoe there's no nylon or uh, carbon plates in here but it is cushioned not too plush um, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of breaking in so two or three runs in uh, it was already very comfortable and I didn't really notice it as a a, 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 a process um, a painful process in terms of breaking in and that was really really good um, so as I said not a tempo shoe in terms of types of distances I think you could run all distances in this it depends on the type of runner you are uh, if you're looking for speed and really to push things on race day, I wouldn't really go for, for these shoes. Um, definitely easy runs, uh, long runs, you're going to get a lot of comfort and, uh, out of these. Um, I've done over 700 kilometers on these and the wear is minimal. I mean, they're really a well, uh, structured shoe. And um, if I wasn't sort of focused on uh, moving on to an, another pair, I'm, I'm sure I could get two or three more hundred kilometers into these, uh, certainly in terms of 
the wear aspect um, of it. So what else can I see uh, about this? I think just in terms of the, the run, to summarize and um, cushions, but not too much so. Um, you feel a, a good level of stability, but not one that um, affects uh, your running. And definitely um, my go-to uh, shoe for easy and um, long runs. So coming in to conclude on uh, the GTS uh, Adrenaline by Brooks. Well, um, bottom line, um, I found it a reliable, trusty daily trainer. When it comes to easy runs, long runs, getting those miles in, you really can't go too far wrong with this shoe. Well fit, um, it's not too cushioned, um, it's the type of shoe where you really feel, uh, you don't feel the necessary the weight of the shoe and for me it's been arrival through the 19s, the 20s and now the 21s and when the 22 arrives I'll be certainly going out and getting myself uh, another pair um, of these to uh, clock up uh, the miles. Um, in terms of negatives there's not a lot I think I can say. Um, I think maybe a key point I'm not entirely keen on the design I think Brooks could work on this um, they're not the most appealing on the eye shoes at least in my view um, and I think that's something Brooks really need to uh, to look at a bit but apart from that I mean when you get down to the things that matter it's solid it's reliable well wearing and um, it's certainly a, a very comfortable shoe so um, nothing more else to say in that regard um thumbs up from me and um i'll certainly be uh clocking in a few more miles and a new pair of these hopefully uh, sometime soon so please uh do subscribe um and put like the video and whatever comments you have please add them in i'd really like to hear your thoughts this is my first um shoe review so uh do uh put down um anything you would like to know more um that i can elaborate on and uh, i hope to see you back here soon when i'll be reviewing another pair uh of running shoes take care get out enjoy your runs and speak to you soon bye